All right, let's go over uh, chapter six quiz. So let me flip back over to Blackboard and get out of the student view. Again, this uh, allows me to access some of the administrative functions within Blackboard. Let me go to tools here and testing area. All right, so there's our quiz six. Let's take a look at this. Make sure they're all visible. Yeah, all 25. Sort that. All right, so here we are. So let's see. We had uh, three questions that uh, whoever received it uh, got it right. Well, that's really nice. So we got uh, 17 or 13 uh, students getting that question, and they all got it right. That's really nice. And then we kind of go down from there. So we have uh, questions in the 90 percentile, uh, in the 80 percentile, so on and so forth. It's the ones that are down here under 70 that I'm concerned about. And those are the ones I want to go over at least first. If you have any other ones you'd like me to cover, I'll be happy to after we go over these five. All right. Let's see. Which of the following configures a margin? So we're looking for a margin here. Uh, for an element with the following values. Uh, top would be 30, uh, left would be 150, right is 0, and the bottom is 0. So who can remember what order uh, this style, right, of coding the declaration goes? Yeah. Yeah, so clockwise. So an easy way to remember is just think of the clock. And if you're going to be using these four values, right, using margin as the select, as the uh, the part of the declaration, the property, and then the four different values. We start with the top and we go like a clock, right, bottom, and then left. So right away, if we know that, we're looking for a top of 30. So the first value should be 30. So we can knock out the first one, right, 150 pixels. Nope, we don't want that one. The second thing we can look at is the um, syntax, right, at that point. Well, our margin, we don't use top dash and then the actual value, right? That's kind of like a combination between the long way and the short way, right? So if we want to write it the long way, we'd use margin dash top, margin dash left, dash bottom, right? So they kind of intertwine in that, so we can toss that one out. So really our only two options are the third and the last one, right? And so let's see if we go from top like a clock, we have 30, which is great, and our next option should be right, which is zero. And the last one has 150, which now we can toss out, and our answer by process of elimination is the third one. Any questions with that one? All right, let's move on. Use the blank property to configure a linear gradient. Use the blank property to configure a linear gradient. Um, so linear gradient is actually part of the declaration, not the property, right? It's part of the value. So uh, we could toss that one out. Um, the other one we could toss out is opacity, right? That's simply, that is the property. Um, and that doesn't do anything for us for gradients wise. And so our only really logical two options would be background dash color and background dash image. And if you don't have that memorized, well, then you could have, right, gone to the book and found out which one that was, and it would be image, right? So image is the property we use to set gradients. Background dash image. We move on. All right. All right, the next one, use the blank property to confine the display of the background image. All right, this is a matter of either knowing it or knowing where to look to find the answer. Right? There's really nothing necessarily logical about this answer because perhaps it could have been image because we're talking about image. It could have been size perhaps, right, as we're talking about confining. But the answer is background dash clip. So it looks like the answers were all over the board, right? Background dash image, background dash size. We had one person think it's background dash origin. So background dash clip is the answer. There. Two more. Uh, which of the following configures padding? So now we're considering padding here. 
uh, for an element with the following values. So top is 0, left is 10, right is 10, and padding, or uh, the bottom is 20. Right? So we're going to use that same kind of thought process. So while the top should be 0, uh, we can quickly look at the bottom two and toss those out. And then when we look at the last two available, well, right away we could see a syntax problem where the first one provides a zero with a unit of measurement and the second one does not. And we don't put unit of measurement when it's a zero value. Okay, so right away we could have tossed the first one out and then chose the second option, which is the correct option. Questions? All right. And then the last one. All right. Uh, HSL, hue, saturation, and lightness. Uh, color is supported by all browsers. By all browsers. Right, so I think uh, the word all is what we're looking at here because only the modern browsers, right, uh, more recent browsers are can actually support HSL and not the older ones. Any other quiz questions you'd like me to review? Okay. Sounds good. We'll continue on then. So we covered that. Fantastic.